Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Katrina from Katrina's Crochet World. My channel is all about yarn crocheting and showing you new stitches and how to make things. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, like, and share me out. There is a join button if you would like to join my amazing family. All my links are in my about page if you would like to check them out. Also, if you would like to donate to my channel, I also have two links in my about page where you can donate. I also have Teesprings if you would like to purchase any of my merch's merch that has my logos on it. Um, it ranges for anything from um, sweaters, hoodies, t-shirts, tank tops, cups, um, mugs, you name it, it's there. So today I'm going to teach you how to do the front and back loop single crochet. Very simple, easy, beginner friendly, just to show you how to go just in, it's not back post, you know, like going through the back, coming through, it's just the back loop and front loop. So to get started, you chain as many stitches as you'd like. You can use this stitch for a sweater, anything. It works wonderful. So you're going to do one single crochet in the second chain from the hook and this loop on the hook on the hook does not count. I am using a five millimeter crochet hook and I am using Burnett purple. So we're going to go in the second chain one, two and do one single crochet and you're going to continue doing one single crochet all the way across until you get to the end. So a single is insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. And you continue that all the way until you get to the end. And always your beginning first chain always seems like it's going to curl but it will straighten up as you crochet so you're going to chain one and turn your work You're going to skip this stitch and in the second stitch you're going to go in the front loop only. Insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two and that's the front loop. Insert your hook just through the first front loop, pull that loop up, yarn over, pull through two. Insert your hook through the front loop only, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Front loop only, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. You just do that all the way across and this is a two row repeat.
Now once you get to the end here, you're going to have this, the V spot here, and you're going to go through both loops and just finish off with your single crochet. Chain one, turn your work. And that's what it'll look like. And that was your second row. Your third row, you're going to skip the first single crochet and into the second, you're going to work a single crochet in the back loop. So skip here and then in the back loop only, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Insert your hook in the back loop, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. And you do this all the way across. Like I said, it's a two row repeat. You just repeat rows two and three. So we started off with one single crochet in the front loop and then the next row was one single crochet in the back loop then you do one row single crochet in the front and then the next row single crochet in the back loop and it really really makes it pop out like I said, it's a simple stitch, single crochet, very easy, and it does make a pretty uh, design. And to me, it makes it look thicker and feel thicker. And at the end of every row, you're going to chain one and turn. So this will be your wrong side and this will be the right side. So you're going to skip this one. Now you're going to do it in the front loop only, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Front loop only, insert your hook, pull up the loop, yarn over, pull through two. And continue that all the way across. Going in front loop only, because if you were to go in the back in both loops, you'd be going through both of those. But you're only going through the front. Then you chain one, always at the end, and turn your work. You're going to skip this one, and in the second chain, you're going in the back loop only. Single crochet. So insert your hook into the back loop only, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Going in the back loop only, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two.
I'll do one more row with you. Again, chain one and turn your work. And as you can see, you can see how it's working up. So now we've just finished the back loop. You're going to skip this stitch. You're going to jump over here and go into the front loop. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. You can also do this in half double crochet or double crochet. A double crochet, you would yarn over, insert your hook in the front loop, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's a double crochet. Half double crochet, you would yarn over, go into the front loop, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, and pull through all three. You can do whatever stitch you want, as long as it's done in the front loop and back loop. So again, insert your hook in the front loop only, pull up that loop, yarn over, pull through two. So I'm going to work this up for you guys so you can see what it looks like. Like I said, just continue and it's a two row repeat. So we're doing the front loop. Then when you get to the end, you chain one, turn your work. You skip that first stitch. Then you go into the second stitch in the back loop and do your single crochet or your double half double, whatever you're doing. So continue what you're doing. I will continue working this up a bit so you guys can see how it works and I will meet you at the beginning. All right, so I worked my piece up a little bit, guys, and this is what it looks like. This is the right side and this is the wrong side. So it, it makes a beautiful stitch. You can use it as dishcloths, like I said, or an ear warmer, a hat, a cowl, anything you want to make with it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Check out my links in my about page. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Take care, stay safe, and happy crocheting. Bye everyone.